All right. And so Logos 85, back to the website. What is the symbolic significance of the ancient feminine goddess statue, such as the, the Venus of Willendorf and the Sheila Gig? How do you respond to those who view the primordial religion as primarily feminine based on artifacts such as these? And how does the Theotokos fit into this tradition? All right. Let me say this. No one knows what those statuettes are. No one knows what they're about. They are an image of a lost memory. They are an image of a of a of something which is so completely cut off from us that it manifests itself as a total alien and becomes the space of every projection that you can imagine. That's the problem of losing memory. It's a problem of 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 cutting the line, cutting the line of memory of tradition that binds you to the past. So the people go and dig into the ground and find these dead bodies. Like these are dead things. And then they raise them up. It's a form of necromancy. And then they try to blow spirit back into it. And what they, and what they end up doing, it's always super subversive. It's always like exactly what you said. It's like, Oh, here's the primordial religion. It's what I want it to be. It's these feminine goddesses, you know. It's like, okay, dude, you have no idea what those statuettes are for. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's speculate just for fun, you know. It's like, why do you think that those statuettes were, were goddesses? Why don't you think that those statuettes were apotropaic? That is, maybe they were, maybe they were gargoyles. Maybe they were magic monsters, and that's why they're so huge and fat and weird. And they were just these like these monsters that people use to protect themselves from demons. And we're not saying that's what it is. I'm saying there's no more reason to think that these were apotropaic than to think that they were goddesses that people worship or to think that they were dolls that kids played with or to think anything like who knows, like they have no idea. They find these dead things. And so apply this now to, to, to all the things people are always saying. You see the same, like people finding things on Minos, you know, they found these like snake goddesses. They, they don't know what they are. They find these women holding snakes. All right. Okay. You have no idea. There's no tradition. There's no link. And so, and so you'll see it like archaeologists are necromancers like constantly. And, and, and what happens with the necromancy is that they, they just project their fantasies. And so these types of statues have been used to kind of undermine Christianity and, Oh, take a question of what really was the primordial religion. Maybe it was this, this feminine goddess, you know, it's like, man, it's all, you have to see that it's all narrative twist and it's all this, it's all, it really is a kind of magic trick that, that the necromancer is playing on you. It's like reviving these dead bodies with his own spirit and making it speak like a, like a marionette, you know, to speak their own philosophy and their own ideas. So yeah, don't get swayed by these archeologists. They have no idea what they're talking about. Like, especially, I mean, I'm not saying if you find something that's related to, to a, a, a civilization that we have connection with, that there's a tradition, that there's a line that we have some memory of. But when you find something that's 30,000 years old in the ground, yeah, might as well be looking at aliens. Like you might as well be looking at any, you don't know what it is. All right, sorry. I have no, like I'm just not impressed by these things. 